Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are we getting on? Welcome to a brand new camp build. And today we are doing something a little different. We've done quite a few scrappy builds recently, so I thought we'd go in the opposite direction and do a nice, clean, tidy looking little shop. And it came out quite well, I think. Okay, so yeah, nice little uh, shop build today that I thought would be a bit different, change of pace. Uh, it's something I've been in my mind for a while, but uh, finally got round to it. And this one it required a bit of thinking on where I was going to actually build this, as it needed a decent bit of flat ground. So I tried a couple of places, settled on this one. See where we are here, we're just south of Morgantown. We're actually on the other side of the road there, by that little T-shape. But uh, it kind of puts the marker a bit further south for some weird reason. There's Morgantown, there's Bolton Greens, we head over this way is Greg's Mine Supply, and Arctos Farm of course, and all the way over here is Vault 76. So, in the forest, nice, fairly popular spot this, so uh, there might be a little bit of competition for this one, but it's a good spot, and we're on the other side to where I've built in the past, I've built sort of behind me here before. So, foundations. Made a little bit of a start on this, try to get things lined up with the edge of the road here. Just need to drop things down a little bit lower. The big issue with these is the grass, or specifically with this spot. Some of it bulldozes better than the others, so... Uh, a little bit of extra height was required here, just to make sure everything bulldozes properly, which is what we're going for there. And we also have a nice step up from the patio into the main shop as well there. You see, some of this hasn't bulldozed. Fortunately, when I re-log, the game will realise what's going on and actually clear out the few bits it hasn't. Bar one or two bits that sort of come up through the cracks. But that's kind of fine, I think, post... Uh, post-apocalypse. So for this main area, the main part of the shop, we're going for a 3x3, three three. and then off the back here we're going to need a workshop. So this is going to be a 2x2. Two two. I mean, it's a nice functional camp, and uh, the shop's going to be a mix of general store, weapon store, and clothing store, so we're going to need somewhere to maintain the weapons and stuff, and produce them. And also that'll make it a nice functional camp, so that's what I've got in mind. So, we're using a mix of stuff today, but mostly the new brick set that came in the last season, Season 8. We're going to mix up some of the different window pieces and patterns and plain stuff, just to kind of make sure that things make sense, but are also not too uniform, which is uh, the balance we're trying to strike here. So we've got a couple of blank walls at the back here, a couple of different types of windows, uh, making sure that they match in relation to each other, but they're uh, different on the back and the front. And we'll uh, put a few blank ones in the last couple of spots. I'm actually doubling up the walls here to divide off the two rooms, but as it turned out, I didn't really need to do that. I changed my mind in the decoration phase and decided to have this uh, sort of side of the wall in what will be the crafting room here as an accent wall, so I just had the outside surface of the wall showing there. You'll see that in the tour, and I think it came out quite well, but if you do want to double up, you can use the contemporary set or the other brick set to do that. So for the shop window up front here, we're just going to use the new rustic greenhouse set. Looks pretty good. Either one will work just fine, but I do like the kind of bricks across the bottom of that and the fact we can have some open windows. So we're going to run this foundation around the side here. Make sure I snap it to the upper level so that I can put stairs in and put a small flat apartment type thing over the top of the shop. Slight little build order issue here. That staircase down the bottom there is preventing this main one going in. So we'll swap those over and put the main one in and then snap this back in afterwards and there we go, we actually get both staircases in that way yeah, so snap this floor on the top here so we can put one over the top of the main shop and I'm just going to do the main shop here I'm going to have a, sort of a, a standard roof over the workshop at the back there the way things are different heights, it breaks up the shape a little bit makes it a bit more interesting to look at in that vein, we're going to use half walls around the edges as I like to do so that things aren't too tall Although we do need full-size ones in the centre so we can have a doorway in there. So, get these triangle pieces on now just to make sure we've got place for the roof. And move on to that. Can you use the concrete ones here? I do quite like those, they came with this set as well. I've seen a few people calling them marble roofs uh, recently on various places in the internet. I think that might be a tiny bit optimistic. But... Uh, yeah, I suppose if you need a marble roof, roof they'll uh, serve just fine. The so flat ones down the middle here, as we don't have any angled ones, I uh, was going to use the ones with the edging on them, but uh, unfortunately if you do that, the inside of the roof doesn't match up the uh, sort of beams that support it, which is a bit annoying, Bethesda, hint hint. But 
rather than have that mismatch, we'll just use the plain ones, so it works okay. Could use some with metal on the edge as well, really. So, the usual half floor to force the posts onto the corners here. You put a couple of short posts underneath just to make it reach all the way to the ground, tidy things up a bit. I'll have to pull this foundation out as it's blocking this last post when MIUI wants to work properly. There we go. So now we've snapped that one back in and the posts reach all the way to the ground. It looks a bit tidier. So, going to do the roof now for the crafting room. And again, this is the uh, sort of edged floor that I was thinking of using, but you sort of see here that they don't quite match up, which is very, very annoying. So we're going to go with a couple of these corner pieces so we can sort of have the best of both worlds. And it gives you a little bit more headroom and makes it feel a little bit more spacious in here. And rather than using these corner ones again here, I'm just going to use the straight ones again, change the shape up a little bit. And use the ones with these vents on as well that kind of work over the crafting room. Unfortunately, the roofs up top there are getting in the way. And I don't know why, but apparently that's a thing. So we'll pull those off, put these ones on, and then we'll go back around and put the roofs back in. <laughs> so we'll run upstairs a moment. Swap those back over to the plain one, and that can go over the top there. Unfortunately, now the roofs we've just put in below are blocking these top ones. Really helpful. So, to solve this particular issue, we're going to flamethrower it. Stick the flamethrower trap on the roof there. It's at the right height to hit both of them. There we go. One, two, and now we can get the roofs in. Which might have worked the other way around, actually, but it's kind of easier here. There we go. Sorted. Now we have a roof on the place. It's actually worth considering putting the roofs in last with this sort of a build, because you sometimes find they get in the way when you're decorating. I did have to take them off a few times. You can blueprint stuff to bypass that, but if you do, then you have to blueprint everything, so it's easier just to take the roof off, really. So, last couple of bits and pieces that I want to do is put a little garden area out here. As you can see, we're going to fence it off with some chain link, so a mixture of snapping and not snapping here to make sure everything sort of follows the line of the ground. You can sort of see here the foundations at the back, because of the way the ground slopes away, are way higher than I would like. Fortunately, the way we're going to do this little garden out the back and the way we're going to decorate it up kind of draws the eye away from it. The shadows as well on this side kind of conceal it a little bit too, which is you know, better than having really big exposed foundations, which, as I said before, I'm not keen on. But in this case, not much we can do with the um, sloped ground here. You might be able to arrange for different heights of floors and stuff, but uh, in this case I just kept it nice and uniform. You see up by the road it's considerably higher than down here, so it would have been awkward to change the heights of the different floors and stuff. There we go. More or less got these chain link fences in now. Could do with one of these that doesn't have the thick post on it really, but is what it is. It works. A little bit of manual placement. We'll get this last one in. There we go. Gives me somewhere for a few crops and my collectron as well, which is nice and protected should any ghouls or scorched or anything wander down from Morgantown. So, last couple of bits and pieces. Once again, going to use my handy dandy new spike board trap trick to put some railings beside the stairs here. Make sure you use the right one because one of them flips uh, all the way over and one of them goes just up to vertical. So, these are the ones that stop at vertical. So we'll activate those. One, two, and they break and provide a little spiky railing. As you can see, everything is coming together quite nicely now. I've already put a couple of awnings on the front there. Actually ended up taking the one off over the door. But uh, you can go either way. So I can get a few fences on here. I'm using these uh, sort of basic fences that we get early on in the game. So they just look a little bit better, I think, for the job, being as it's a shop. Some of the other ones are woodwork as well, like the, the barbed wire ones, but I don't think they'd look quite as appropriate to the build. So, go with these simple ones. Get a staircase on there. You can use the haunted house one, but you can use whatever. And I think that should about do it for the structure. So, I'm going to head off and decorate, and I will see you in the tour in just a moment. So there we go. Tons and tons of decoration later, we have our little shop. Gone for as much as possible a pre-war look to this building, and I think it's come out quite well. We added a few bits around the sides just to kind of change the shape up a little bit, break it up, make it a bit more interesting. Otherwise this would be one very long flat side. 
and the billboard there does it nicely a couple of trees as well put in around here just to kind of frame it a little bit which looks all right i think quite happy with how this has come out was the edge of the road nicely there and just looks almost like it's a nice part of morgantown that was always here not quite so much decoration out front got a few bits but kept it relatively spartan because there is a lot on the inside the budget with this one i got right to the limit of the budget and uh, ended up having to delete one or two things in order to fit a few more in but uh, it came out quite nicely i think i could have done with a um, valley boutique sign instead of that market one on that side given what i've done on the inside but hey it works there we go a couple more trees around this side actually the tree on the right here was already in place i didn't put that one in myself fortunately the gap in uh, the structure here which meant that it kind of popped back after uh, i re-logged and that worked quite nicely so we've got my decon arch just tucked there and my shelter is right in front of it the generator and the symptomatic underneath the stairs there we have a little peek through the fence there at the garden as well yeah quite happy with how this came out i've got everything i need looks pretty clean and tidy and it's uh, well decorated <laughs> to say the least i spent a lot of time on that a lot of bits and pieces in here so you clip the um cooking station through the wall at the top there as well just to use the flamethrower to destroy the wall so i could push it back a little bit further tidy these things up a bit looks quite cool as well makes the wall a bit more interesting a couple of bits and pieces out here with it being a shop i didn't really need too much and as i say at the limit of the build budget so it had to be fairly spartan if you wanted to do a bar sort of thing then you'd probably have a bit more space on the inside so you could probably put some seating out here and the structure would work just as fine for that as anything else but we went with the shop so let's head on in and have a look at the inside here here we go as you can see i made liberal use of the merge collector recently i think i got shown very very recently by a friend of mine and uh, i think i'll do a tutorial for those who are wondering how to do this um, fairly soon so i think i've got the hang of it now yeah quite happy with how this came out wish we had a little more in option in terms of sort of things to put on the shelves i would like more scrap type stuff but uh, we've got what we've got so this side is meant to be kind of more of a hardware store I think I'm more or less in got that vibe. It's a bit of a general store thing. Weird mishmash of stuff on the shelves, but uh, what could we do? I've only really got floor decor available to put on the shelves. Managed to just about fudge a couple of wall decor pieces in there as well. For the counter here, I've used the Tipsy Tom set again. That's the vendor set. And I've just lined those up carefully, sort of freehand, and then snapped onto the edge to get it double thickness. It looks all right. Coming around here, we have our little weapons area. We're selling a few guns. A nice mix here, some rifles, some pistols, some heavy guns, and even a melee weapon. We managed to get those displays on the wall there, because we've only got limited options in terms of weapon displays. We don't have proper weapon racks, and uh, had to make do with what we've got there, but it's come out quite well. I had to use the sort of snapping options and play around with it to get those wall displays on. Some I had to snap in, some I had to use manually. Particularly the first one had to be placed manually, and then I think I snapped everything else to that. But it worked quite nicely. Coming around this side, I wanted a clothing store type thing here. Unfortunately, we've only got five mannequins that we can place, and we can't put clothes on shelves. So we've got another set of general store stuff on the right here. But uh, a few bits and pieces on the mannequin as well, just to make it a bit more interesting. I did not forget to put anything on the uh, new Coca-Cola stand there. I deliberately left it blank, because I thought it looked a little bit more kind of general store hardware store vibe but quite a lot of stuff on that shelf which came out quite nicely swing around here and have a look at the back of the counter this is relatively simple this area but uh, i think it's got all the essentials in Let's see four vendors on here plenty of stations for the staff to work from put a couple of display cases back here and it's kind of hard to tell in some ways there is actually ammo in these cases the idea was that this is where they saw the ammo for the guns in secure cases behind the counter, you know. A little uh, safe as well, that's the communist skin safe, it's quite cool. Yeah, unfortunately, I was hoping for boxes of ammo in those displays, but unfortunately it only put single bullets in, so what can you do? You'll have to squint a bit or use your imagination a bit, unfortunately. But uh, the idea is there. A couple of Blue Ridge things on the wall as well, because it's a shop after all, and they're merchants. 
Let's head through into the crafting room, somewhere to maintain their guns, produce new ones and stuff like that. That also makes it more functional as a camp. Managed to squeeze everything in here, bar the cooking station that's upstairs, so quite pleased with that. Not a lot of room to run around, but you don't really need it. All the benches have enough space to operate them, so quite happy with that. A couple sticking out from the wall and a few on the wall, mix it up. Not gone crazy with the decoration, but got a good few bits of posters and stuff on the walls. Quite happy with that accent wall, it's come out quite nicely. Like a bold contrast, so quite pleased with that. Did think about putting another shelf with a load of stuff on it that was merged in, in here, but budget being what it was, I ran out of space, so uh, I had to do without. The punch card machine behind the door there, so the staff can clock in and out, and I can change my loadout. <laughs> Works quite nicely. So let's head on out and have a little look at our garden. With these doors, incidentally, at the back here, I went for a more industrial, functional look, because I think it's the back door to a shop, it's more about uh, function than form, really, whereas the front one kind of went the other way, because that's the customer entrance. Just a nice little garden out here. Didn't have a lot of space in the budget for crops, so only six years of corn out here, but should be enough for challenges. Went for the Fetch Collectron, just to mix things up a little bit, for a change. Unfortunately, the grass has come back through the Collectron station for some weird reason. Put the construction lights out here as well, they don't really serve a huge amount of purpose, they're not bright enough, but eh, they're cool. Makes a, a random feature on the wall. Let's close this one back up. I did lock that door to stop the dog opening it. <laughs> and we'll head back through to the shop and make our way upstairs where we can have a little look around the apartment that I put in up there. Yeah, I really like how the shop has come out. Looks, uh, Pretty decent, I think. It is a bit of a pain trying to do shops and that sort of thing because you need some kind of stock. And I've done stuff in the past that I've had a shop. I did a gas station build a while back, beginning of the year, I think. And uh, for the shop there, I just boarded it up and sealed it up and made it look like it had been completely stripped bare because at the time I didn't know how to do this. Now that I do, here's the result. <laughs> Quite happy with it. Stuck the little radiation test dummy that we picked up in the atomic shop last week behind the door as well. That thing's uh, kind of fun, a bit weird. Same with the clown. Something fun and a bit weird and a bit random for the hardware store side of things. So we'll make our way upstairs. You know, look here at the space under the stairs. It hasn't got a lot going on. Just tuck the Jenny in there and the symptomatic, and it works nicely. I'd like to have done something a little different with this um, sort of balcony here. Unfortunately, I had to have a floor here so that I could snap the rest of the floors on, so that kind of leaves me with limited options for one small square out here. But it works, so let's move on inside. Just a single room apartment up here, but I like how it's come out. Nice open plan vibe. Kitchen tucked in the smaller section of the floor here. Obviously sealed off the bathroom there. A single wall made from a half wall there and an angled one just next to the kitchen there and I went for um, just the regular plain walls there so that that wall didn't look out of place because double siding walls underneath angled roofs is kind of a nightmare. A nice little sitting area, a little sort of entertainment section through the middle, wasn't quite sure what to do with that but kind of came out okay. Gotta have the suit of armour at any opportunity because I love that thing. Haven't used the Nuka Cola standing lamps before either and uh, picked those up not so long ago so good opportunity here. A load of plushies to dress up the little bedroom area, and a red rocket lamp, and another red rocket lamp. <laughs> just put out just enough light here, but it's a little on the dingy side at night in here, but uh, it does work, it's kind of cosy. Very, very simple little one square bathroom in here. Couldn't fit a shower in as the roof's too low, but the bath goes in just fine. The standard sort of decoration in here. I do like having that beach scene in the bathroom. I don't know, it just works for me. <laughs> It just works. <laughs> yeah, quite happy with how this kitchen has come out as well. It's simple and small, but looks reasonably comfortable. It's got everything we need in there. As I say, see, I just went with the plain walls and didn't wallpaper them. Mostly so they matched with the back of this wall here, which I was uh, kind of stuck with. But it works quite nicely, that, I think. Some of the Halloween wallpapers there, which I really do like. They're a little cosy, but I do wish I could have wallpapers on the roof. Yeah, all in all, nice comfortable little apartment. Quite pleased with how that one came out as well. Quite happy with this build overall. So, I do hope you folks enjoyed this one. Thank you very much for watching. If you did like the video, very much appreciate it if you drop subs and likes. 
down below the video as well you can find social media links the newly updated merch store and channel memberships as well and all those other good buttons if you would like to support the channel in that way i really appreciate it really helps out massive thank you to everybody who's done that and if you get a chance to of course join us for live streams as well we are playing fallout 76 and we're coming to the end now of doom eternal and i think we're going to follow that up probably with the witcher 2 so i do hope you'll join us for those but for now Thank you very much for watching. I look forward to speaking to you all very, very soon.